Today is the 28th of March, 1998, the second date of our retreat. Usually, I interview meditators every day in the retreat and also give Dhamma talks every day. Now, because of my health, I can't do that. That's why we <clears throat> do the list of an interview on every second day visit. <clears throat> Uh, we roundly put the 1st of March on the list of, uh, in the list of uh, interview, but actually the 1st March has no interview. I take the every Sunday as a holiday. <clears throat> And Dhamma talks also on every second date. <clears throat> so where there's, uh, uh, on the day there's interview, there won't be Dhamma talk. On the day there's a Dhamma talk, there won't be interview. The purpose is uh, to have time for rest and also for meditator <clears throat> to have ample time for practice. If you have an interview and a talk on the same day, you have to spend a lot of time on the Dhamma talk and interview, so you have <clears throat> not much time to spend on your meditative practice. So we do the on every second day Dhamma talk and on every second day interview, but there are four days. You, you, you know on the, in the list. <clears throat> I think the 7th and 9th of March and also 14th and 16th of March. Uh, on these four days you have both interviews and Tama talk. <clears throat> Uh, you should be careful. <clears throat> Yesterday, because uh, I would like you to rightly understand the technique of uh, meditation, so I forgot to tell you about the preparatory stage, um, stages. <clears throat> before you start to meditation. And meditation text, especially <clears throat> Empali text, the preparatory stage is mentioned because it is some uh, important to start with the meditation. The first one is uh, to pay respect to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, and uh, take up a, a precepts, observance of the precepts. Is uh, the basic requirement 
as I told you yesterday, for every meditative practice, either samatha meditation or vipassana meditation. <clears throat> after you have taken up the precept, then you have to make apology to uh, if you speak contemptuously or in jest to a noble one or the about a noble one who has attained enlightenment such as path and fruition. So you have to personally apologize him or her if you do or uh, if you happen to speak contemptuously or ingest to a noble one, Ria Bukla, who has attained any of a path of fruition knowledge. But if that person is not available here, you have to make this apology through your meditation teacher, or you should do it introspectively to yourself. In this way, the, what you happen to do to this noble one is not a hindrance to your progress in meditation, especially to your attainment of enlightenment. After that, you have to entrust yourself to the Buddha, the Omanishim Buddha. <clears throat> if you, uh, during meditation, if you entrust yourself to the Buddha, you don't have any the unpleasant vision in your meditation, even though you have Amplest vision or dreadful vision, you or mind is not moved by this vision. You note it and it goes away because of your entrust yourself to the Buddha. And another stage is. You have to place yourself under the guidance of your teacher so that the teacher can instruct you or teach you frankly and correct your if you practice wrongly. Unless you place your self under the guidance of the teacher, the teacher may be reluctant to teach you frankly and to correct you if you have some defects in the practice. <clears throat> That's why you need to place yourself under the guidance of your teacher. <clears throat> Then there are four kinds of uh, protection, which is uh, known as Chitura Rakadhamma. Chitura Rakadhamma means the four protection dhamma. The, the, <coughs> the four protections subject of a meditation. When you 
practice uh, this uh, for protection before you start your vipassana meditation. It's very much uh, helpful for your progress in meditation. The four subjects of the protections are the first one, the Buddha, the attributes of the Buddha, or Buddha Nosti Bhavana, the recollection of the Buddha's attributes. Then the second, <coughs> Mita meditation, loving kindness meditation towards all living beings. Then the third, reflection on the loathsome aspects of the body, it's so-called Atsupa Bhavana. The fourth, <coughs> the fourth is reflection on the death, Maranasdi or Maranasdi in Bali. As to the first one, the recollections of Buddha's attributes, you have to <clears throat> reflect upon the nine chief attributes of the Buddha. Araham, Sama, Sambhuto, Vijaya, Charana, Sampano, Sukhato, Loka, Vidu, and so on. Here, Raham means um, worthy one. The Buddha is uh, worthy of our honor because um, he has completely eliminated uh, all kinds of uh, defilements and his mind is perfectly purified. So he is a worthy of our honor. Reflection upon, reflecting on these attributes of uh, Araham. It's also inspiring you to make progress in your meditation. But the second one is a Sama Sambuddha. Sama Sambuddha means uh, the Buddha is uh, perfectly enlightened by himself. He has no teacher to make him enlightened. He didn't learn anything from any teacher to discover the truth and to purify his mind and to destroy all defilements. Before he was enlightened, he learned <clears throat> Samatha meditation from the two great teachers of uh, the age. From the first teacher he learned Samatha meditation, which enabled him to attain the seven stages of a jhana concentration. But <clears throat> he was not able to discover the truth because this is just a concentration, not realization of the phenomenon. From the second teacher, he learned a Samatha meditation which enabled him to attain all the eight stages of Ajana. We call it Atta Samapati, means uh, the eight kinds of uh, entrance. <clears throat> So, here also he was not able to discover the truth. 
he was not able to be enlightened because this is also just concentration, no realization of the phenomena. After that, <clears throat> he come to realize that these jhanas are <clears throat> not the Dhamma that enable him to discover the truth or to the be free from suffering. So he left these two teachers and practiced <clears throat> some ascetic practices for six years by himself in the, the forest of Uruvila. But that is also the wrong practice. So the wrong practice didn't enable him to attain anything. So he has decided this is the wrong practice. Then he went to Kaya Sisa, a place where there is a very big <coughs> bow tree. Under that body tree is a body tree he practiced. First of all, Samatha meditation by which he attains um, the first, the second, the third, and st the fourth stage of Anyajya Jhana, that's a deep concentration. Based on this, is the four stages of a concentration or Jhana, he observed whatever arises in his body and my as it is, that that was a vipassana. <clears throat> Only then he comes to realize the three characteristics of a mentality and physicality, impermanence, suffering, non-self non -self, or no soul nature of a bodily and mental phenomena. Eventually he attained the enlightenment, having destroyed all mental defilements. <clears throat> so the Buddha is perfectly enlightened by himself. He did not have any help or any teaching from any other teachers. That is called Sama Sambuddha. Sama Sambuddha, the Buddha is perfectly enlightened by himself. Recollecting, uh, reflecting on these attributes, you can attain some degree of uh, concentration. It gives you the uh, it it inspires you to go forward with your practice ardently and honestly. So this is also one of the protection um, meditation, and also practice of this protection meditation, the Buddha knows the power and recollection of the Buddha's attributes, prevents you from the, uh, protects you against any illness or any danger during your retreat. Then the second one is Metta meditation, loving kindness meditation. You have done this loving kindness meditation a lot, I think. <clears throat> Wishing peace and happiness of all living beings. Reflecting upon their welfare. Same 
mentally some sentences such as may all living beings be happy and peaceful may all living beings be free from animosities may all living beings be free from disease and dangers may all living beings be free from both mental and physical suffering in this way you develop your the loving kindness the spirit of loving kindness meta chaita in you this also the one of the protection meditation then the third point is reflecting upon lobe some aspects of the body you have to reflect on your body thinking about all impurity all aspects of impurity in the body such as blood pus urine defecacy intestine stomach phlegm pus and so on reflecting upon this uh, the repulsive nature of the body you can get the benefit of a detachment from the body if you uh, uh if you do not see the impurities of this the body you are in this meditation uh, if i strive my best in the pratism i may have some illness or some weakness and so on. in this way you may be reluctant to work hard on meditation <clears throat> so that is because you are attached too much attached to your body this meditation which reflects upon the loop some aspects of the body decrease decrease your attachment to the body then you can try your best and you can work hard on your practice then the last one is reflection of reflection on the death everyone who is born is subject to death but no one has the idea he that he may die tonight or tomorrow day after tomorrow or this month or next month he assumed that he would live say at least another 10 years and 20 years and so on but the dead <clears throat> follows them the living beings very closely <clears throat> at any time one can die so that's why the buddha said <clears throat> you should reflect upon the death which can comes you comes to you at any time when you have the yes when you recollect or when you reflect upon the death you should think about the what the buddha said death is a sudden 
Death is a sudden, living is uncertain. Life is a precarious, death is a sure. So at any moment I can I may die. This way if you reflect upon the death, then you may feel urgent to practice this meditation and to attain any stage of enlightenment or any stage of insight knowledge. So this is also one of the protection meditation. There are four protection meditations. The first one is a recollection of the Buddha's attribute. The second one is the development of loving kindness. The third is reflection of loathsome aspects of the body. The fourth is a reflection on the death. So these, before you start to practice your personal meditation every day, in early morning, you should do these four protection meditations at about two minutes each. Recollections about the Buddha's attributes, two minutes. Development of loving kindness, metta, two minutes. Reflection on the lobsome aspects of the body, two minutes. Reflection on death, also two minutes. Uh, only after that uh, you should start to practice your personal meditation, inside meditation. But here, metta meditation is a very much helpful for inside meditation because uh, when meta medita should do meta meditation your mind very easily concentrated on the object then you may feel calm and peaceful tranquil at that time you switch on your mind to vipassana inside meditation then the inside meditation is very good. So, for meta meditation, you should spend about 10 or 15 minutes on this meditation. Only after that, you should practice vipassana meditation, inside meditation. <clears throat> Sometimes um, you, you are, my may be reluctant to practice, or you may feel lazy to practice. And sometimes you may have a lot of worries, or a lot of restlessness. You are unable to observe them, you are unable to overcome them by noting them. In such a case also, you should do meta meditation, say it about one sitting or two sitting. Then gradually your mind will be concentrated on the object of metta. Then you may feel calm, peaceful, tranquil. Then you can return to vipassana meditation. So metta meditation is a, such a benefit, uh, effective meditation for vipassana meditation. It's enough now today. <clears throat> May all of you rightly understand the the technique of these four protections and the technique of personal meditation and strive your best attain the cessation of the suffering. <clears throat>